Hey guys, I'm going to uh, attempt to extend this trailer, trailer hitch where it hooks onto the car, obviously because it's too close. Um, four wheel drive's got a tyre on the back and I can't turn one way properly, so I've made up this um, extension here. It's five mil thick, plenty solid, it's only light boat. Um, basically, that will fit in there, that brake, the brake system poke up through there, you know the deal from there, anyway, I'm just going to cut this off, probably here, you can also, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's bent, it's um, the end through here, it's been hit or something, so anyway, I'll trim it off, cut this off, and that should just slide straight on over, weld it up, weld a few bits on and good to go. So I'll, um, I'll cut it off and prep it all up and uh, we'll come back to you guys when it's when it's all done ready for the next stage. Okay trimmed that bit off as you can see it's been sleeved before uh, so yeah I'm not not real happy with it it's a bit rusty it's gonna turn into a bit, bit more than just Chop it off, slide, a, slide another one over the top. I can still see that bend. So, um, yeah, I'd say they jackknifed it against the car or something. Straightened it out as best they could and put a sleeve in it for strength. But, um, yeah, it's a long time ago. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'll take that plate out. It, uh, it basically, basically goes to a little... There's a bit of an angle under there, it goes that far. There's another bit, there's another angle brace across here. So I'm going to um, take this plate out, cut these welds, take this, take this whole section out and um, get another one. I don't think I've got one that size, so I'll have to go buy a piece. I'll get a bit of gal that'll slide into there perfectly. We'll mount that in and then I can also bring it out a bit longer, so I've got a lot more sleeve, drill the sides, a few plug welds. Um, then when it comes in here, I might even flare it a bit, do some slits in the corner, flare it out so it actually comes up and folds out over that a bit. But uh, I'll work it out when I get to it. Start as I'll get, get this piece out, put a new one in and there we go from there, but so it's not going to happen all today. I'll, um, I'm going to have to finish this another day. Hi guys. I uh, cut that bit out that I wasn't happy with, that had been sleeved and rusty. Uh, basically, it just went to there. That was that little bit of angle there, so I've butchered that out. I got a, ideally would have been a, a bit piece of gal galvanized steel but that's what I had so I put it right through though to this brace put a new one here nice little welds put a little little bit of angle I had there to neaten it off so that's all good and this is five mil too so plenty plenty of steel there just grab this this is the piece I had Basically, that's just going to go. Oh, it'll need a tap for wood. I've had it on. I've drilled a few holes here. They're going to be plug welds. Bit of a weld around the end there. Good to go. All I've got to basically work out then is um, something for this. I'm, I'm definitely contemplating just buying the ones I've seen in the boat shops. There. They're all pre-made gal, you can get certain lengths. They're on the right angle on a plate and you can bolt them down. Um, reason being, then I can adjust the boat a little bit. Obviously extending this, it's gonna change, change the weight a little bit. So I might be able to adjust the boat then. So it might be a good idea to have adjustable post. That saves me trying to clean this thing up. But yeah, all right, so I'll, I'll set this up. You can see I've run a string line. Oh, it's, um, it's 
mucked up at the other end. If I run a string, string line straight through the center of the blade, pretty much just eye this in. Get it nice and straight. So I'll set up, I'll get that welded, and um, I'll show you the finished product. See you then. Hey guys, here's the finished product. Well, it's almost finished. Welded the chains on. I think uh, last time I was talking about this, I wasn't sure whether to repair the old one up or uh, I ended up just buying this whole unit. Then I could move it around, adjust the boat a little bit. So that worked out perfect. Welded on a new one of these for my wheel. Um, all the brakes, everything's fitted. Everything works sweet. I've actually already taken it out. Done about 600 kilometers now. And um, yeah, towed beautiful. Obviously I've done all, all the wheel bearings, everything as well, new tires. All I've got to do is um, work something out for the handbrake, just to lock it on. Probably weld some little bar there with a couple of little spikes for that to hook in, you know. But that's, um, that can wait. I, I did rush it a bit. I welded this back on. I haven't even finished that off properly. We had to go away for Easter and I wanted to take it, so um, quickly sapped it back together. But yeah, I was really impressed. Just that extra length made so much difference. It towed really great. Um, yeah, so that's it. It's how to extend a trailer. and I've actually rebuilt the whole trailer. I didn't film any, but I might put a couple of still shots up just to show you what I did. The trailer was a ski boat trailer from a, um, with a propeller, so it had the, the big drop down at the back. So I converted it to a, a standard trailer. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll post up those still still shots as well at the end of this film. Well, guys, thank you. See you later.